Oh yeah, immersion cooling. Not a massive fan of it, a little bit expensive. I don't really see the point in doing it. May as well just get a cool environment. You can overclock the miners though, which is good. Hydro Bitcoin mining, again, not a bad way to keep the miners cool, but there's a lot of downtime involved with the hydro setups, changing all of the cables and everything, and the piping, redoing the, the watering, and air cooled. Air cooled's mostly where we as a business operate on the mining side of things. It's cheaper to set up. Um, at the end of the day, you wanna be doing Bitcoin mining to be profitable. And if you can lower the infrastructure costs, lower the energy costs, then you can deliver to your clients more Bitcoin. They're not paying as much for energy and labor and repairs and things like that. Also a really big part of Bitcoin mining is keeping your uptime up. And with things like hydro mining and even immersion cooling, you know, you can be out for lengthy periods of time if something goes wrong with that. And there's so many variables that can go wrong. But the upside is you can overclock the miners and get more hash rate out of a lower model. Um, yeah, we're looking into doing more of that, to be honest, but you don't want to rush into these types of operations.